Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my top picks from the Zara New In section. So I have my box here ready to go for you and I'm very excited to show you what I picked out. There's a definite vibe, it's very like warm, cosy vibes. So I'm really excited to unbox this and get into it for you, try everything on, show you what it all looks like on and give you some opinions on what I would kind of rate from this selection and what I don't like so much. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, I told you the vibe was warm and cosy and I saw this coat on the Zara New In section and couldn't resist putting this one in my basket. It feels so soft, like I originally thought that it wouldn't feel as soft as it did. It's that kind of shearling teddy bear style jacket and it's in a really interesting colour. It's almost like a greeny grey and I just really liked the neutral tone of it. It's just got one button. In the middle and it's almost in a cocoon shape so it's a little bit wider around the shoulders and the shoulders are a bit more oversized i got this in a size small because i thought it would be a little bit oversized so i'm really interested to see how this fits when it's on and i think it will come to round about my knees it's quite a long coat which i like i like that style at the moment i really love this coat it's so cute <laughs> think yeah pockets are real so thumbs up for that oh my god it's so cute it's just like the nicest almost like yellow based gray it's just not a blue toned cool toned like gonna drain the life out of my face gray and i really really like that i love it it feels so soft again sized up so that i can wear a chunky knit underneath i've paired it with my zara leather look leggings and zara boots which are getting mud all over the floor but let's ignore that i really like coats like this as well because you can have the lapel like down and smarter or like what i like to do sometimes is just like have the collar up and it's just a little bit more snuggly yeah oh i really do like this wasn't planning on keeping this but it's really really cute i'd love to know your guys thoughts on this it's really really sweet i just love the texture of it look at that so beautiful it feels so soft not itchy at all oh dear i really love it so cute I also picked this knit as well. It's very, very heavy. Like, it's very, very soft, but is quite a chunky knit and it feels quite heavy on. I also think it's one of those kind of thicker knits that actually is quite thin at the same time. So I think it would be kind of breathable. It's got quite a thick collar as well. I got this in a medium because I thought this would look very, very cute, oversized, almost like as a dress but not a dress if that makes sense. I thought this would go quite nicely with like leather look leggings and things like that. So I'm really interested to try it on and see how it fits. According to the label, this is mostly polyester and acrylic, I believe, with like 5% wool in it. It does feel very soft. This wouldn't flag to me that it's gonna feel itchy at all, but I do think if you're one of those people that gets very hot in where well, this might be one that will kind of make you overheat a little. However, because the knit has a lot of like gaps in it, like it's quite a big, knit that isn't too dense i do think it would just be that little bit more breathable maybe never thought i'd say this but i might have gone a bit too oversized with this one so this jumper i got in a medium it's very it's like i i just love it it's super cute i my words are getting jumbled it's that cute but it is like a bit long and just i think because of the amount of excess material i've got in the medium i could go down to a small and hopefully it would be just like a tiny bit shorter because it does just feel a little bit long, although I can't decide if I actually quite like that vibe. It almost feels like it could be a dress, which would be quite cute for going into like spring with a pair of like over the knee boots. I'm not sure, maybe I'll try that in a second. But yeah, I think if that doesn't work, then I would definitely just size down to a small, just so it's got slightly less material, that it would still be oversized and then like ever so slightly shorter. I think that would be perfect, especially if it was a little bit tighter around here, it could kind of like sit just a little bit easier like there's a lot of excess material on this so i would say definitely if you're not looking for anything particularly oversized get your regular size in this or even size down if you want it a little bit more like fitted yeah i should have stuck with my regular size i think but it's quite nice just to have something like really big all my sweaters like actual sweaters are in this sizing and i do kind of like that but normally i go for like a slightly smaller fit with my knitwear i'm gonna see what this looks like as a dress i've got some boots down there so i'm just gonna take these off and i'm gonna throw them on and just see what that looks like hmm can't decide i thought i'd properly style it out for the full effect but yeah this is what we're working with i am so undecided 
Hmm. It's kind of cute, but I mean, I just love these boots with anything, to be honest. I'm so undecided. I would love to know your thoughts. I could also do these with over the knee, and I do think that would make it for a lot less, like, leg being exposed. I definitely think if I did come around to wearing this as a dress, I would keep it in this size, because I think sizing down it would be too short. But it's like a really nice length. It makes my legs look very brown as well, so no, no complaints there. What do you guys think? Let me know. Would love to know. Thought I'd just come back and say as well, this does tuck really nicely as well if you're looking for that kind of vibe. I just kept it longer at the back because otherwise it gets a bit much. But yeah, it's really, really cute. Like this. So yeah, tucks well. Thumbs up. Probably gonna end up keeping it. Shit. I just planned on this being a new in, not a haul. Oops. I also picked up this jacket, which is a similar vibe to the coat, but a little bit lighter. And it's basically a grey toned, lighter version of a lot of the tailored coats that I have. I don't have anything in that fit, but in this tone in my wardrobe. So I was really interested to try this on, see how it fitted. It's got a tie, waist, and it feels really, really soft. I think this will be quite long on me, but I do like quite a long coat. I also got this in a medium in hopes that it will be kind of big enough for me to wear knitwear underneath like nice chunky knitwear and it not feel too tight and I just like the look of these coats when they're a little bit oversized so yeah I'll show you what that looks like now. This is the level of dressing gown chic we aspire to here on this channel look at this. I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would not so much like tied up as a dressing gown but like flowing loose it's kind of cool I like it it's very like comfortable but casual but smart at the same time i think this is a great all-rounder for like a nice everyday coat if your winters are fairly mild like mine are down in the south of england i think i said but i got the medium so sized up so i've got a little bit more room for like a knit underneath and then with a scarf and a hat you'd be very very toasty in this i love the color of it as well it's a really beautiful neutral gray tone but it's almost like it's not a cool tone gray where it's got a blue base to it and i look very washed out in it it actually works really really well with my skin tone i like it a lot the pockets are nice and big i think it adds to an all black outfit quite nicely as well without wearing white and feeling too contrasty like i could happily wear this zara body my trackies trainers and this and just still feel quite put together despite being very very casual yeah i think it's a great throw on coat it'd be great for like the weekends or great for like work it's that perfect like smart casual hybrid coat and i really really like it now this might not look like much now that i'm holding up but i was very very excited to see this in the new in section this is like basically a little bando top however zara have been styling tops like this they did a gray one at the end of the summer they've been styling it with a white shirt underneath and when i saw that they did it in black i was so so happy because obviously black is like my favorite shade i prefer it to gray so it was just meant to be, I didn't get it the first time around and I immediately put this in my basket. I cannot wait to style it with a white shirt like this. I just think that would look really, really cool. I'm hopefully gonna do that this evening. That is basically like why I'm filming this video now because I have a dinner to go to and I really wanted to wear this, but I thought seeing as I was opening the boxes, I might as well open them with you. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this on and hopefully it looks really good under white shirts. I got it in a medium i could have done a small i think but i just wanted this to be able to have like kind of chunky pieces underneath and not look too tight because it's ribbed like you can see if it is a little bit too stretched out so i thought i'd be safe and go for a medium plus my boobs are huge at the moment so <laughs> yeah mediums all round for my top half but yeah really really excited to style this up it looks like nothing when i'm holding it up right now so i'm gonna like show you what it looks like on right now so this one although this was pretty much the main purpose of my haul i'm actually slightly unsure on i think what i need is a shorter shirt if i'm honest even just like a little bit shorter not super short but just like a regular length shirt i think would maybe work a bit better all of my shirts are very very long this one i actually sometimes wear as a dress in the summer so it just does look a little bit too exaggerated in terms of the silhouette I paired it with my top shop cigarette trousers and june heels and I think this would be perfect if this was just like a little bit shorter. I think it would contrast quite nicely with how short the kind of like knitted corset, bando top, whatever you want to call it, is. This section of white shirt is basically double the length of this and I think it's throwing the proportions off a little. So I would say one that's maybe like this length. It would give you slightly more of an elongated leg as well. So yeah, I'm going to try and find a shirt that is a little bit shorter. I will link some if you want your shopping made easy for you. But yeah, it's very, very cute. I really like this with these sleeves, like the kind of exaggerated 
almost like three quarter length bell sleeves I think it's just a really interesting mix and I just think it's very very cute I would say this one isn't a no but it's not like a solid yes yeah I think it takes a little bit more to get it right however I do think this would also look super cute with like a grey high neck tight fitted knit so I'm also going to look into that as well because I think that could be a really cool way to style this this is kind of more of a TBC item I think it's going to take work but I think it's so worth it it's, it's very cute. Keep your eyes peeled. This may reappear. The sizing was fine also. I'm glad I went with the medium so that the rib isn't really like stretched. Yeah, that is this one. TBC, keep your eyes peeled. Then shockingly, we have more knitwear. I couldn't finish my Zara order without this knit. I just love it. It's like a really beautiful, warm toned cream color. It's just really, really pretty. And it's quite a fine knit but quite thick it's very very soft and the reason it's so super soft is because it's 100 percent cashmere which did make this one of the more expensive pieces in this haul if not the most expensive piece but so soft oh my god i love cashmere so much and the thing i really love about it as well in addition to the material is the giant neck on this i've been looking for like a really big roll neck for a little while those of you who watched my and other stories knitwear haul i'll link that if you haven't seen it basically reviewed a whole load of and other stories knitwear this included actually this is the like wrap knitwear except i've got it the other way around today it's cute i like it so yeah this was one of the two items i kept from that but those of you who watched that will remember that i was after like a big roll neck and the one from that haul was just so grim and itchy and i couldn't deal and i'm hoping that this is going to be the one it's quite long so again i'm hoping it will look good with my leather leggings and i can wear it with like my biker boots and it'll just be really like cash and comfy but i can also put it with some heels for like a nice dinner when it's just absolutely freezing as it is right now the uk is disgusting <laughs> i want to relocate if someone please house me somewhere in a different country <laughs> i'd be very appreciative but yeah anyway very much looking forward to wearing this for the remainder of my time in the uk i think i like this one which is uh annoying because it was really expensive <laughs> yeah it's super super soft like really obsessed with how soft it is the neck actually isn't as bad as i thought it was going to be i kind of tried this on when i was in a little bit of a rush the other day and felt like it was a bit too neck bracy but actually i've just like pulled it down almost like double up on it's layering so like really like pull it down and then pull this bit out and it's actually like not so bad so yeah i would recommend this i think it's a really lovely not super expensive cash minute the color is beautiful the fit is really nice you could go a little bit smaller if you didn't want it to be like too oversized and it looks especially cute with my zara leather leggings and then these croc boots which you will see a fair bit in the video but these are from river island via asos and i love them so much i think they just help to really dress up this outfit because i could easily wear this exact same thing with trainers and look very very casual but yeah this is super cute i'm gonna really struggle to part with this because i just feel really snug in it this would be a great one for like the festive season when you just want to throw on something that looks smart but is also really comfy and can also be casual down as well the way it flows as well being a slightly more oversized is just really gorgeous too my final two items are kind of the anomalies of the group they are not really like cozy related but one i couldn't resist throwing in my basket because i knew i would get the wear out of it and the other i couldn't resist throwing in my basket because i just think it will be a great party option for so many of us and i just really wanted to kind of like try it on i probably won't keep it but i just wanted to try it on for you guys and give you my thoughts because i thought it was really cute but anyway the item that i just knew i had to have is this ring i already have a ring like it from zara and it's in this like triple band style it's really really gorgeous i love it so much i wear it every single day at the moment and i've seen it styled on the website like stacked up on different fingers so one on like the ring finger and then a larger size on like the index finger and i thought i'd get another one but in a different style i saw this and it's just like a single kind of loop and it's quite chunky and i thought that would look cute kind of stacked up potentially on the finger next to it. I just thought that could look really cute, especially because I wear quite a lot of gold on this wrist. So yeah, I picked that up and I'm really excited to wear them together. I really like the fact that these don't tarnish either. They're like gold plated, but they're silver underneath. So it just means that my finger isn't going green if I like quickly have to wash my hands and I don't have time to take my ring off. Like it's just 
staying and it's lasting really well so i'm super happy with these and very excited to wear that and then my final item feels like such a contrast to what i'm wearing at the moment because i'm so cozy and dressed down i'm literally in like cashmere socks on the bottom and tracky bottoms and all of that but i love this top those of you who saw my content on instagram in the summer especially my mark jacobs campaign will remember i have like a feather pink version of this almost this is like obviously not feather but it's like sheer lace with polka dots on it it's really gorgeous actually like the detail on this is just really really pretty but yeah it's a similar style where it's kind of like a band top and i thought this would look really really beautiful with like some tailored cigarette trousers and then just really simple black heels i just think this is a really nice option for party season and it's one that you can wear with already existing items in your wardrobe and not have to have like a whole full new outfit and it will store quite easily and nicely for like future seasons and stuff like that and i don't think it's something that will really go out of style because it's just a very simple top and i just really like the detailing on it i also like that it has elastic on the back instead of a zip i just think that works much better at keeping something in your wardrobe over time because like your boobs can get bigger or smaller over time and the top's still going to stretch with you and that is goals so i got this in a small one i think it's going to fit perfectly by the looks of it very very excited to try this on i actually think this might be a keeper and i wasn't intending on that but it's really really pretty oh my god i feel like a flower but i'm here for it my dishwasher is on in the background by the way guys if you're wondering what the weird noise is this is so cute i had a slight fight to get it on because it doesn't zip all the way like i feel like that's a much easier consumer experience when you have just like an easy zip that you kind of zip in and straight up it's attached along the top and then the zip comes from like here down which is really quite odd you would expect it to go the other way around if anything be attached at the bottom and there be a zip here but goes the opposite way but apart from that it was fine i'm really happy with the sizing of it it's so cute i really like it i feel like this is such a lovely piece to have in your like occasion wear wardrobe super super pretty with these top shop cigarette trousers it really like flatters my waist and hips as well like it's got that nice hourglass shape to it i don't have the biggest boobs so the combination of these two are just like doing the most for my figure and i really really appreciate that so so cute i've paired it with my june shoes as well they're like a square toe don't know if i can show you there you can see it a bit better yeah they're a square toe and i just think they're really cute really simple like the whole outfit is very very simple it's quite timeless as well as much as this top is obviously quite a statement i do feel like it's one of those pieces that you could have in your wardrobe for a really long time really beautiful and a really interesting piece like it's very very unique and really really beautiful if you don't like to have so much like shoulder on show as well you could also wear a shirt underneath this and i think that would look really really cute as well so this would almost act like a corset it would be slightly bulky so if you have larger boobs i do think with a shirt underneath that could be a bit much but if you don't want your back and kind of like chest area on show you can definitely pair something like a shirt underneath this maybe a silk shirt if you want it to be less bulky i would suggest but yeah i just love this it's so cute i think this might be a new addition to my occasion wear wardrobe because it's just so sweet look at that just don't stroke yourself in public because that would be weird so that is it for this video let me know which items were your favorites in the comments below and if you do pick up any of these items make sure you tag me on instagram i love it when you guys send me pictures of your outfits based on my videos it just makes me super happy so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys again very very soon goodbye